So now that you have installed your nice digi lever handle smart lock, you'll want to start programming this lock. It says that it can store up to 20 codes and a master code. So the default master code on this lock out of the package is 12345678. It is required that you change that code in order to start programming any other codes into the lock. So you can change this to any code between four and eight digits. So let's start by changing our master code. We will press nice digi twice, enter our default master code, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, press nice digi, a green light and a beep, we will press one, a green light and a beep. We will pick a four digit code. I'll say eight, four, three, two, press nice digi. And then eight, four, three, two, nice digi. Now eight, three, eight, four, three, two is our new master code. So let's add a user code. To do this, we will press nice digi twice. We will press our master code, 8432. We will press nice digi. We will press two. And then we will enter a new code, 9054, and press nice digi. 9054, nice digi. So, 9054 nice digi will unlock our smart lock and now it auto locks that is how you add a code on the nice digi smart lock so to delete a user code what we need to do is press nice digi twice enter our master code 8432 press nice digi We'll press three. We will enter the code we don't want anymore. 9054, press nice digi. Now, 9054 no longer works. We have now successfully deleted a code. Let's say we want to disable that auto lock feature. What we'll do is we will press nice digi twice we will enter our master code. We will press nice digi, wait for a beep. We will press the number seven. We will then press the number two and nice digi. Now, we will unlock our lock. No lights. Now our lock is a passage lock. We can use this to open it all day. Let's say you want to re-enable our auto lock feature. All we have to do is press nice digi twice, enter our master code, press nice digi, press the number seven, press the number one, nice digi. Now, we'll unlock our lock. After a few seconds, it should turn white and auto lock. So let's say that you do not want to turn this into a passage lock. Let's just say you want the auto lock feature to take a little bit longer to auto lock. Right now, if we press our code, we can unlock our lock but almost immediately it auto locks. You can change this duration to anywhere between five seconds and 99 seconds. To do this, we will press nice digi twice, enter our master code, press nice digi. We will press the number zero, and then we will enter a number between one and 90, or five and 99, we'll say 10 seconds, one, zero, and we'll press nice digi. Now, we can unlock our door. 
but it will take 10 seconds for the white light to flash and the lock to auto lock right there. So give or take, it seems a little quick, but that is how you change the auto lock duration on the nice digi smart lock. So let's say you want to set a one-time user code. This is normally for someone delivering a package. You want to just give them a code that they can use to drop off the box, but you want that code to never work again once he's delivered the product. So to do this, we will press the nice digi button twice. We will enter our user code. We will press nice digi. We will press the number nine. We will enter a code for him. We'll say eight, seven, two, one. We will press nice digi. We'll press eight, seven, two, one, nice digi. So now the delivery guy comes in, eight, seven, two, one, nice digi. He unlocks the door. After our new 10 seconds, it will auto lock. He will try to come back. Eight, seven, two, one, nice digi. No longer works. He cannot enter. That is how you set a one-time user code. So let's say you would like to enable silent mode. You may have noticed every time you input your code, you hear an audible beep. If you would like to silence that beep, I do recommend it as a locksmith as the beep is one more thing that will drain your battery. Smart locks are already battery destroyers as they sit. So the audible beep is one more feature that will drain it quicker. So I recommend disabling the sound on every smart lock if you really do not need the sound. To enable silent mode, we will press nice digi twice, enter our master code. We will press nice digi. We will press the number six. We will press the number two and nice digi. Now, no more beep. If you would like to re-enable the sound, we will press nice digi twice. We will press our master code. We will press nice digi. We will press the number six and we will press the number one and nice digi. Now, our beep is back. We now have audio. Again, I do suggest turning it off if you really do not need it. So vacation mode is a cool feature on some smart locks. Let's say that you are going on vacation or you have a short-term rental that you do not want touched for the next month. Let's say that you have 20 workers, contractors, cleaners, etc., and they all have their own code. You want to leave and you don't want them entering, but you don't want to permanently erase and have to give them all back their codes once you get back. You can enable vacation mode. Vacation mode temporarily disables all 20 codes. It only allows the master code to work on the lock. So let's say you want to leave for a month. You can disable everybody's code. Nobody will be able to get in. Once you are back and you're ready to rent it out again or use it again, you can set vacation mode off and everybody's code goes back to the way it was. To do this, you will press nice digi twice, enter your master code, press nice digi, press the number eight and press nice digi. Now, 9054 no longer works. Now, let's say that you get back from your vacation and you know everything is safe and sound in the home. No contractors were able to get back in or cleaners or anybody you didn't want entering the home. 
you are back and you want to give everybody back their codes that they're used to. All you have to do is come up and press your master code. And nice digi. Now, you're able to get in. We'll let it auto lock. In just a couple seconds here. And nine zero five four works again. Everybody's codes come back online. Now, one more feature of this lock is they call it an anti peeping feature. So you are allowed to press a few digits before or after uh, you input your actual code. So if somebody is looking over your shoulder and you don't want to enter 9054 and have them remember that, you can actually put 263 and then put like that. And then you'll be able to get in. Then they're gonna have to remember, okay, was it 263? Was it 367? They're trying to figure out those first few numbers so it might mess with them. You also can put in your code and then put 835 and it would still work because you already input your code. It gives you a little leeway so people can try to remember extra numbers. It doesn't really have the same effect when you do it after the code. So I would definitely, if you're gonna use the feature, um, do that before. So that way they're trying to remember the first handful of numbers. And usually it's kind of like a phone number. People remember the first four or five numbers, but they can't remember the, the end. <laughs> so uh, I would definitely only use that feature in the beginning uh, before I insert my code. So let's say that you want to factory reset this lock back to default settings where your master code goes back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you want to start all of this over again. All you need to do is take the provided pin tool from your hardware kit. You will press and hold the reset button until you hear five beeps and see the light turn red on the front of the lock. Once you hear the five beeps and it turns red, you will wait for two more beeps right there. And now you have successfully reset your nice digi lever handle smart lock. So let's say that you need to change the handing. You've installed this on a door, but you need the handle to face the opposite direction. All you have to do is take the provided Allen wrench, insert it into the grub screw here on the inside of the lever, turn it to the left just a couple of times until it's loose, and you will rotate the handle. And once it is in the position you need, you will retighten the grub screw.